moment Caiaphas realized he had killed the Son of God. Caiaphas was a high priest in Jerusalem during the time of Jesus' ministry. He played a significant role in the events leading up to Jesus' crucifixion. He held a prominent position in the Jewish religious hierarchy, serving as the high priest from approximately 18 to 36 AD. He was appointed by the Roman authorities and held considerable power and influence within the Jewish community. When Jesus began his public ministry, he gained a large following, performing miracles and teaching with authority. This threatened the religious establishment, including Caiaphas and the Sadducees, who were concerned about Jesus' influence and the potential for political upheaval. In John 11:45, 53, we see a pivotal moment when Caiaphas becomes a central figure in the plot against Jesus. After Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, the religious leaders feared that Jesus' popularity would escalate and pose a threat to their authority. Caiaphas, in a strategic and pragmatic manner, suggested that it would be expedient for one man to die for the people rather than for the whole nation to be destroyed. This statement, though intended in a political sense, carried profound spiritual implications. Little did Caiaphas know that he unwittingly prophesied the redemptive significance of Jesus' death. God would use the sacrifice of his Son to bring salvation to all humanity. As the events unfolded, Caiaphas played a significant role in Jesus' arrest, trial, and crucifixion. He was involved in the conspiracy to arrest Jesus secretly, which eventually led to Jesus' trial before the Sanhedrin, the Jewish ruling council. Caiaphas presided over this trial and sought to find charges against Jesus that would warrant his execution. Caiaphas accused Jesus of blasphemy for claiming to be the Son of God a charge that carried a death sentence according to Jewish law. He was instrumental in handing Jesus over to the Roman authorities, ultimately leading to his crucifixion. It is unclear exactly when or how Caiaphas realized the true nature of Jesus as the Son of God. Additionally, after Jesus' death and resurrection, reports began to circulate about his miraculous resurrection. Caiaphas, along with the other religious leaders, tried to suppress these reports by spreading a false narrative that Jesus' disciples had stolen his body. While the exact moment of Caiaphas's realization is not explicitly described in the biblical accounts, it is believed that he may have eventually understood the implications of his actions. The reality of Jesus' resurrection and the spread of Christianity would have undoubtedly caused him to reflect on the gravity of his involvement in Jesus' crucifixion. The story of Caiaphas serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the dangers of pride, political expediency, and misplaced religious authority. It also underscores the mysterious and redemptive plan of God, who can use even the actions of those who oppose him to bring about his ultimate purpose of salvation. In conclusion, Caiaphas was the high priest who played a pivotal role in the events leading to Jesus' crucifixion. While the specific moment of his realization is not explicitly mentioned in the Bible, the consequences of his actions and the reality of Jesus' resurrection would have undoubtedly weighed heavily on him. His story serves as a reminder of the profound impact of our choices and the need for genuine introspection and repentance. Caiaphas's actions against Christ demonstrate the dangerous path of self-interest, pride, and abuse of power. He allowed fear and political maneuvering to cloud his judgment and lead him to participate in the condemnation and crucifixion of the Son of God. Yet, even in this dark moment, God's plan of redemption was at work. It is important for us to reflect on Caiaphas's story and examine our own hearts. Are there areas in our lives where we prioritize our own agendas, ambitions, or self-interest over the will of God? Do we allow fear, pride, or societal pressures to shape our decisions and actions, even if they conflict with God's truth and love? But the story of Caiaphas doesn't end there. The grace of God is all-encompassing and offers the opportunity for repentance and transformation. Caiaphas, like anyone else, had the chance to turn to God, acknowledge his wrongs, and seek forgiveness. Likewise, for us, no matter what mistakes we've made or how far we may have strayed, there is always hope for redemption through Jesus Christ. 
God's love and forgiveness are boundless, and He offers us a fresh start when we humbly come before Him, repent, and surrender our lives to His will. Let us also remember the message of the cross, the ultimate display of God's love and mercy. Jesus willingly laid down His life to atone for our sins, including the sins of those who condemned Him. He offers forgiveness and salvation to all who believe in Him, regardless of the gravity of their past actions. As we reflect on Caiaphas's role in the crucifixion of Jesus, let it serve as a reminder of the darkness that resides in the human heart and the importance of constantly examining our motives, seeking God's guidance, and aligning our lives with His will. May we learn from Caiaphas's mistakes and be vigilant in guarding our hearts against pride, self-interest, and the misuse of power. May we humbly seek God's forgiveness and surrender our lives to Him, allowing His transformative grace to work within us. And as we embrace the message of the cross, may we experience the depth of God's love, find restoration and purpose, and become agents of His grace in a world that is in desperate need of His redeeming power. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and sharing with your loved ones.